I stumbled into a stunning blister of Nurgle's plagued bears. Even though I'm very smitten with painting them, I don't want to risk breaking the blister to commit blasphemy. But you viewers are waiting for me to paint, so I will do it. So in the late 90s, Games Workshop instituted a pricing structure that they called breaks or bans. Each letter of the alphabet represented a different price for a product, whether it was a piece, a blister, etc. If you wanted to know how much each letter cost, all you had to do was look at it. If that wasn't enough, you could find a pricing sheet or hang it where the blisters were, and it was always easy to see. Here we can see the shop where the blister had been bought, as well as the brand Citadel. I am quite sorry to rupture the blister. Perhaps this blister has the potential to become a work of art in the future, but I plan to paint these demons, so let's do it. They look to be more innocent than the plague bearers of the Age of Sigmar. I like the new Nurgle demons, but I think they're too gory. This one's tummy hasn't been sliced, which is why I think they're so adorable. So we can see the miniature's name and the year, in this case, 2001. So stay tuned because I'll be painting the three in different ways so you can see which paints or methods you find appealing for this Nurgle guys. So I chose this Primer Parched Grass because these two miniatures will be greenish in color. The Primer Parched Grass is an ideal choice for these two miniatures as it will enhance their natural green hues. Partially, additionally, this primer will provide a smooth and durable surface for the paint to adhere to, ensuring a long-lasting and vibrant finish. For the third, I primed with black and airbrushed white primer with a zenithal angle to create a subtle gradient effect. This one will not be greenish. I use a dry brush technique with bone white. Bone white is a very light and creamy white color that fits well with brown and earth tones. The dry brush technique allows me to create texture and highlights, giving a realistic and three-dimensional feel. Thus, I am now using Agrax Earth Shade. Bugbearers are rotten, wasting creatures with a single flaming eye that are somewhat humanoid in size and form. The Plague Lord's pestilent demonic troops are made up of these filthy lesser demons. Flies swarm about them constantly, making it tough to combat them. The many illnesses carried by these demons can be exploited to devastating effect in warfare. So after the shade, I am using contrast paint. Plague bearer flesh is the color of these demons' flesh, and it adds a sickly, decaying look to their skin. It really enhances the overall creepy, otherworldly vibe. Nature of the demons of Nurgle seem vile. That much is certain. Their internal organs poke out from decaying skin. They ooze goo, and their bodies throb with the corruption's feverish heat. Surprisingly lively and friendly, Nurgle's daemons are grotesque in appearance. They find great joy in their work and are enthusiastic about their successes. 
They interpret the complaints of those in pain as expressions of gratitude for the benefits they have gotten as a result of their tireless efforts. I highlight some areas of the skin with very tiny layers of Orgene Camo. This color is lighter and very comparable to the skin tone base color. So dry brush with off-white and I will apply Raiklin Flesh Shade. So in this case, I changed the dry brush color and the shade to apply later a strong green as a contrast. The strong green will create a striking contrast against the off-white and Raiklin Flesh Shade. But this technique adds depth and visual interest to the miniature, enhancing the details of the model.
we can compare plague bearer flesh from Citadel and plague green from Vallejo. Both Citadel's plague bearer flesh and Vallejo's plague green are popular choices for painting miniatures with a plague or decay theme, while Citadel's plague bearer flesh offers a more realistic flesh tone with subtle undertones, Vallejo's Plague Green provides a vibrant and intense green color that is perfect for creating a more otherworldly or supernatural effect. I use tiny applications of Lauren Forest to highlight certain parts of the skin. This color is lighter and very akin to the skin tone basis. I tried an experiment with these last plague bearer. I used apothecary white over off white to create a grayish plague bearer. The end effect was appealing as the combination of apothecary white and off white produced a rare shade of gray that resembled a plague bearer. Experiment effectively proved the hue's adaptability in producing diverse tones and effects. 